I don't know what it's called, but... It's 12 o'clock. F*** you, laptop. <laughs> pen, you could use this pen actually for your phone. I'll show you. Like... Oh no, I'm just... Oh my god. Why did I just show you my pen? <laughs> My name is Angelo Lissandre and welcome to my life! First of all, I just want to thank everyone who watched my last video. I didn't expect that many views. Like I got like 600 something views and I expected like 100 or 200 views and I got 600. That's amazing! Thank you so much to everyone who liked the video, who subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So today the video is going to be a what's in my bag video. I love these types of videos. I always watch these types of videos because I love bags and I love looking at bags and what's inside of them because I'm nosy. And I decided to make my own what's in my bag video. Subscribe to my channel down below so you won't miss any videos. And I almost forgot to that one disliker. Thank you so much for disliking my video because it just solidifies my YouTuberness. Is that even a word? It makes me a legit YouTuber now. I have a hater. Yes. When you try to me, keep Thank you so much. So let's get on with the video, shall we? So here is my bag. Hey, it's so beautiful. Paparazzi. <laughs> so it's the Givenchy Antigona in the medium size. So it's so beautiful. I bought this when I was in France last year in Paris. So this is a really big bag even though it's in the medium size. You can fit a lot inside. I'll show you. There's a lot in there. It's so heavy because I have a lot of things in here and the last time I used it was last week. I didn't use it that much this week because it was raining a lot outside. So let's look at what's inside. First thing that I can see is my wallet. This is the Chanel O card holder. It has my cards in it, some cash, my IDs and everything and the next thing in my bag is my phone my iphone x the next thing in this bag is a makeup bag Ooh. <laughs> this is a standard rainbow makeup bag from typo so what's in this makeup bag i have a jeffree star velour lip scrub for my lips obviously a real techniques powder brush a makeup forever powder Bourgeois, bourgeois, healthy balance powder. It's just a face powder and an infallible 24 hour powder foundation from L'Oreal. The next thing I have is this MAC Oval 6 paddle brush, kind of. And the last thing in my makeup bag is this Labello lip balm. This is what I use all the time. So the next thing in my bag it are headphones. These are just ear pods from Apple for my iPhone. Next thing is this thing, an Hermes packaging. I'll open it up for you. This is actually a Twilly for my bag. I bought this in Paris too when I was in Paris last year. This is a Twilly, I put it on my bag. It's an accessory for my bag. I don't usually use this. Yeah, it's pretty. It's Hermes and yeah. And the next thing let's see is a Tangle Teaser. ASMR video. <laughs> So it's just a normal tangle teaser, a black tangle teaser. I use it to brush my hair. The next thing in my bag is my perfume. C by Giorgio Armani. This is my signature perfume. Everyone in my life knows that this is my signature perfume. When they smell this, they know it's me. <laughs> so the next thing in my bag is this pouch that I bought from Typo as well. Same as the makeup bag. Uh, just a normal pouch. It says all the important bits. I have some receipts. I have a face mask here, the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold and intense wrinkle sheet mask. So I use this when 
I'm in planes, so you know, 24 karat magic in the ass. <laughs> and I have here my passports. And I have three packets of ketchup from McDonald's. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't want to waste ketchup and I didn't want to throw it away. So the next thing I have are pins. Harry Potter pins. I'm not really a big fan of Harry Potter. It's not that I don't like it. I love Lord of the Rings more, but I am a Slytherin. So yeah, Slytherin. Next is these glasses. You think these are sunglasses? These don't fit me because they're too small for me. You'd think these are sunglasses, but these are actually 3D glasses. I got this from Theater by Rhodes in Dubai. It was an expensive theater, but I still got cool 3D glasses from it. So yeah, next is an Emirates NVD letter. It's my debit card from Dubai. Got it last month, got it replaced because I lost it. <laughs> the next thing is another receipt. It's a receipt for real cinemas in Dubai for Black Panther. The next thing was, oh, it's just a receipt for withdrawal. Withdrawal? Withdrawal? Withdrawal. This is the receipt for the Maison de Fleur uh, Preserved Flowers Bespoke Bouquet. 288 dirhams. Expensive AF. <laughs> so the next thing is, are I mean, glasses. This one is missing a piece and these are 3D glasses from Dubai as well. So these are cool. And I also have a sample of the Hugo Boss perfume. The next thing is another receipt. I have so many receipts here because I don't clean up my bag. I haven't cleaned this bag in a while. And I have more receipts, receipts, I'm not gonna tell you where that's from, receipts. And I have more receipts. I have a lot of receipts, another receipt, and another receipt. That's the last of the receipts here, I think. I don't think so. Well, wait, I'll check. <laughs> I also have here a bow tie. I don't know why I have a bow tie here. I never wear a bow tie. I never wore that anywhere, so I don't get where that came from. So I found a thing from the glasses. So, more receipts. No, this is an, a receipt. Oh, this is an arrival card here in the Philippines. They gave me this because they thought I was a foreigner when I was coming from Dubai. So the next thing in my bag is a receipt. This is a receipt for ramen nagi. I love ramen nagi. Like I order so much from ramen nagi. So like this, my order was a black king with two extra orders of belly and three extra orders of tamago. Tamago? The egg. So I order a lot when I eat at ramen nagi. I have more receipts. Oh no, this isn't receipt. This is a movie ticket to theater by Rhodes. The most expensive theater I've been to. It's 168 dirhams for one movie. And that's where I got these glasses from. And I have another perfume, which is also C by Giorgio Armani, but a smaller version of it. 10 peso coin. Ooh, I have a glittery pen from Typo. And I also have another pen here, which is from Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab? Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab. My friend gave this to me, Patrick, Patrick Tengilan. Thank you so much for this pen. I love this pen. You could use this pen actually for your phone. I'll show you. Here you go. I'll show you the camera and yeah. You could use this pen to navigate through your phone. I also have here a Lysol bottle. Um, <laughs> I have this in my bag because sometimes I just have to do it. And when I do it in a public place, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone using it after me. So I spray this. So it smells good. Okay. I also have a tissue here. If you have trash, keep it in your bag, throw it away next time, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> I need to have coins here. Ooh, I'm not actually sure what currency this is. Ooh, there, can you see? Can anyone tell me what currency this is? Like from what country it is? Ooh, that's cool. I don't even know what currency this is. Can anyone tell me in the comments below? I have as well a letter. What is 
is this letter for? Oh, it's just a letter from my from the school I attended in Dubai, the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. So it's nothing. And I have I have an immigration card. No, I have a disembarkation form. Yeah, disembarkation embarkation form for visitors. It's for Singapore. Welcome to Singapore. Yeah, because I went to Singapore a few months ago with my family. And I also have this, another letter. Oh yeah, this is from Beyond the Box. So that's almost it for the bag. Oh, there's also this pocket. I have here a remote for our gate in the house. And I have, ooh, my name tag from my internship in Dubai, Angelo Training. Next thing in here. Oh, these are pictures. These are pictures from Dubai. Yeah, that's me. Ooh, 13 kilograms heavier. So I also have here an evaluation form for my practicum, for my internship. It says Angelo, I can't read it actually. Angelo has shown his willingness to learn and handle multiple tasks. I can't read this handwriting. She should have been a doctor. <laughs> Next is, this is a baggage claim card from Emirates Airlines. Nothing special. I also have, ooh, this was my ticket in Etihad Airways when we went to Paris. No, this was actually from Paris to Abu Dhabi. We had a stopover in Abu Dhabi when we went home to the Philippines last year. This is a light stick that my friend Raymond Siglos gave to me. And I have a breath spray, Icy Mint, Ice Drops Breath Spray. And I also have some dental floss in here that I stole from restaurants that I went to. I have a lot of it here. I also have this Fenty Beauty blotting sheets. Take, ah, it's raining again. It's raining so hard. Ugh. I don't really like these blotting sheets. Sorry for the rain. <laughs> And I think this is the last thing. Oh my god. No, this isn't the last thing. This is actually a receipt too, so... That. <laughs> uh, the last thing here is a key. I don't know what this key is for, but it's in my bag. And that's it for my bag. That's all that's in this bag. That's a lot of things. There's nothing in here anymore. So, yes. This what's in my bag video turned out to be a cleaning up my bag video. <laughs> I had a lot of junk inside the video. No. <laughs> I had a lot of junk inside my bag and I just cleaned it out after probably months of not cleaning it out. So yeah, that's it for my what's in my bag video. This is the Givenchy Antigona. It's so light now because it has nothing in it. I hope you like this video. If you like my content and if you like me, subscribe down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos, comment it down below. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. Except for the remote control and the clock, this is the mess that was inside my bag. Wow.